Next up, Movies You Want to Watch continues our coverage of the film Cold in July. We go one-on-one -on -one with the star of Jim Mickle's dark thriller, Michael C. Hall. Brace yourselves, everyone's favorite serial killer is back, and this time he's on the big screen. You got any family? A daddy in Huntsville prison. He just got paroled. Michael C. Hall, a.k.a. Dexter, stars in Cold in July, a dark thriller where he plays Richard Dane, a home invasion victim turned vigilante. The cops are up to something. They use my family as bait. I want to know why. Hall began his career off-Broadway, performing Shakespeare in New York, before he was cast by Sam Mendes in the 1999 production of Cabaret. <laughs> Cabaret turned out to be Michael's big break, and shortly afterward, he launched his first iconic role as the closeted David Fisher in HBO's Six Feet Under. Keith, you remember my brother Nate, don't you? Yeah, how's it going? Hey. Hall continued to play the morbid roles with a Golden Globe winning portrayal of Dexter Morgan, the noble serial killer. Killers cannot have a full emotional life. I think you underestimate me. Hall met, married, and divorced co-star Jennifer Carpenter during Dexter's eight-season run. Did you kill all these people? I did. After bidding farewell to Dexter, Hall appeared as David Kammerer in the dark beat poet biopic Kill Your Darlings alongside Daniel Radcliffe. There's a literary revolution without writing a word. Meet Trick Lou. This summer through mid-July, Hall is back on Broadway, starring in a new play, The Realistic Joneses, alongside Tony Collette, Marissa Tomei, and Tracy Letts. It's a cliche, but I do pinch myself from time to time. It's an amazing group. Now, Hall takes on the big screen, Cold in July, another story centered around a murder, but a killer role that is very different from Dexter. Movies you want to watch sat down with Hall to talk movies, mullets, and mom jeans. I have the pleasure of sitting here with Michael C. Hall, Sundance 2014. It's the 30th annual Sundance, which is pretty cool. Congratulations. Thank you. Cold in July. Thank you for doing this today, sure. for sitting down with us. First of all, we want to go right off the bat. We enjoy the, the, the 80s, being in the 80s, Texas. You're in a relationship and have a son with Vanessa <coughs> Shaw. Tell us a little bit about your character. My character, Richard Dane, is a uh, kind of unremarkable guy. A family man, he has a son with his wife Anne, played by Vanessa, and um, runs a frame shop in a small town of Laborde, Texas, in East Texas. And the movie starts with uh, he and his wife waking up to the sound of an intruder. He grabs a gun out of the closet and without meaning to, shoots and kills him. And um, things sort of just evolve or devolve or spiral into greater and greater degrees of chaos from there. And it's a total 180 from Dexter because Dexter wanted to kill this gentleman actually feels remorse. Yeah, he feels remorse. He didn't mean to kill this person. He didn't feel any inherent need to kill this person. Mm -hmm. um, and it, actually, I finished Dexter and went straight to Kingston, New York to shoot this movie and it was it was nice because I was left when Dexter ended with a feeling of like, what have I done? And I was able to, you know, uh, kind of revisit the idea of murder from uh, a more everyday perspective. It was a fantastic like epilogue to my Dexter experience to go do this movie. You play the victim. Right. The father of the guy I've killed, played by Sam Shepard, yes. is out for revenge. It's difficult to talk about the movie because um, it hinges on the element of surprise. So everything I almost reveal feels like possibly a spoiler. What did you enjoy playing more, being Sam's ally in the film or his enemy? I enjoyed both, but I think ultimately uh, I enjoyed those moments when, when you know I had information that he didn't have and I had to really work to convince him uh, that I was on his side or at least not against him. And um, I think will forever remain one of the thrills of my career as an actor to work w with Sam Shepard. And uh, you know, there's something sort of Shepard-esque about the world of this movie and certainly some of the scenes I played with him and it was a pretty heady experience to you know, get on 
what was basically a proscenium set and <laughs> throw food at each other and uh, yeah, it, heard, it felt like a Sam Shepard play. We heard that you were so into the character you showed up on set in a mullet? Is yeah, that well, true? When we finished Dexter, uh, there's a scene at the end of that <laughs> where I had to have a beard made because I didn't have time to grow one. And I was reading and rereading and thinking about the script for Cold in July and the time period and my ideal hairstyle. And I realized I didn't have time to grow the mullet that I envisioned. Mm -hmm. And so asked the guy who was making my beard if he could also just make a little hair piece that I could put in the back so that I would have the mullet and I actually ended up naming it Richard Dane uh, because without it I had no character. <laughs> did you feel like when you put the mullet on that it got you right into Oh character? yeah, it really did. It was transformative. I mm -hmm. joked with Jim because I also had the mustache, the mm -hmm. sort of cheesy mustache. Mm -hmm. This is basically a movie about a guy who tried, decided to start growing a mustache two and a half weeks ago. Are you trying to continue to grow one now? No, this is just laziness. You have a Broadway show? It's called The Realistic Joneses. Uh, it's a four character play with uh, cool. Tony Collette, Marissa Tomei, and oh. Tracy Letts. It's, you know, something I've, I've, I've missed over the course of these several television series. It's been hard to fit in a play, so I'm excited to get back on stage. We heard that if Dexter continued on, mm -hmm. that you would consider going back? I show? mean, you know, I, I finished Six Feet Under and said that I'd never do a television series again, and then Dexter came along, so uh, I, I've learned to never say never. Mm -hmm. I certainly have trouble wrapping my m mind around the uh, uh, idea of it right now, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't rule out the possibility of returning. I religiously watched Six Feet Under. You were so incredible in that that Thank I you. could have put money on the fact that you were a gay man. That's how yeah. amazing, amazing, mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. were you were incredible. Well, I guess you I'm you know gay enough. <laughs> I knew you were going to come back and say something like that. No, but seriously, you were so Thank convincing and, and incredible. You. And what was that a great experience? Do you miss was, that cast? I do. I do. I mean, they still feel like some sort of parallel universe family of mine. You know, um, whenever I see Peter or Lauren or Franny, I mean, the, the times we do are too few and far between, but I, I feel like I'm reuniting with family. And um, it was an incredible time an incredible job, a job that when I was coming up and thinking about a career as an actor, I didn't even fantasize uh, could exist, you know, something that was that rich and multifaceted and, and gave such opportunity for evolution and uh, yeah, it was an incredible time. How do you deal with, I, I mean, I was literally reading today, you know, Michael C. Hall's picking up his dog, Michael C. Hall picking right. up his dry cleaning, he's picking up a coffee, he's with his right. girlfriend. How do you deal? With that, is that something that you know what I signed up for it, or mm -hmm. or is it challenging for you? I guess to a degree, I feel like it's more challenging when it affects people around me, mm -hmm. when it affects my girlfriend yeah. or or other friends or family. Mm -hmm. You know, it goes with the territory for me. But and I'm I'm excited. Uh, any any sort of uh, publicity for the dog, I'm happy about because <laughs> she's pretty adorable. But what's uh, her name? What's her name? The salamander. Cool. Um, what kind of dog? She's a mutt. Um, part unicorn, part pony. <laughs> I'm not going to stop walking the dog. That's that's that okay. I'll say. You know, if, if if it's a story to somebody that I continue to walk my dog, that's really their problem. Cold in July is a movie you want to watch, and it hits theaters May 23rd. All right, boys, tally duty time. You know you